Jiggy cat on a damn feeling spree. This is not good, so and you can't mimic my energy. 100 round drum and be hanging like a center. Hello, everyone. This is Nagato's Adventure. Hope you guys are having an awesome day for today. In today's video slash showcase, I'm going to be showing you guys on how to switch between multiple PlayStation Network accounts on your modded PlayStation Vita or your PSTV for that matter via using Advanced Account Switcher. You may be asking yourself, why is this even useful for a Vita owner or user that is basically on a modded system? So if you guys remember, the PlayStation Vita um, didn't have the option to basically install multiple accounts onto one memory card. So your memory card was basically locked onto one PSN account. Unless you bought another memory card and you guys already know how expensive Vita memory cards are, um, you basically didn't have the opportunity to switch accounts unless you were going to basically reformat your whole data including your memory card to use it on another account so it did kind of get tricky in terms of you know basically going out there and trying to play on two psn accounts just on one vita however with a modded playstation vita um you could basically bypass that by using a advanced account switcher so i'll be teaching you guys that for today's tutorial with that being stated out the way as well if you guys could please be sure to follow my latest social medias so you never forget the latest hacking guides and tutorials on my channel my my goal is to try to post you know every single day on my channel and the best way on how to know that is just to being subscribed to me of course hitting that notification button and as well mostly where I drop my content or basically give updates when I drop my latest content will be on Twitter so if you never want to miss you know any um, of my episodes or tutorials make sure to go ahead and subscribe to me that way as well if you also want to join my official discord and be in the mix of my community i will have that in a link in the description below or as showcased here you can check out the url not only you can meet new people from the hacking and modding community you can also get the latest hacking guides for your favorite consoles and if you need any support in terms of setting this up or just have any general questions about you know modding the vita or modding in general for whatever place is your console i can help you guys out via in the discord as well if you do want to support my channel you can feel free to via donate my my um paypal i will have that in the link in the description below any of the money i may receive from my fans and supporters will go straight back into my channel so it will help me th buy things such as a you know camera on um, better um software editing tools and such stuff of that nature but with all that fun stuff getting out the way i'm going to go ahead and get started on today's prerequisites for the vita and any of the items i state just like any of my other videos will be in a download description below so of course you need either a modded playstation vita or pstv via using h on core um hankaku or the trinity hack this does work with 3.60 all the way up to 3.72 firmware and this is as of yesterday since h encore 2 is now basically out and you can basically um hack your system on the latest firmware if you guys are interested on how to hack your um vita on the latest firmware on 3.72 i will have a card right now to showcase that or if you on 3.70 firmware and you have a vita on that i'll showcase a tutorial for that guide as well showcased on the screen um but with that being stated out the way you'll also need the latest version of vita shell you also need of course advanced account switcher vpk you also need you know two or more than ps an account so make sure you have you know two more psn accounts for this method and last but not least you need files to let fcp client or a usb cable to transfer your files over i just want to give a special thanks out to silica for making this program and don't forget if you need any help on this process you can feel free to join my discord but with that being stated we could go ahead and get started on the pc side of things Alrighty guys, so as showcased here, we are back onto the PlayStation Vita. Assuming that you did follow all of the prerequisites in the intro, we could go ahead and get started on today's tutorial. So as showcased here, here is one of my dummy PSN accounts, um, Nagato Zen. And what we're going to be doing, or our goal for today in this video, is basically switch out of Nagato Zen. And by using Advanced Account Switcher, we're going to be switching out of this PSN and having my Nagato uh, dev account active back on this PlayStation Vita. So I was just showcasing that I am on this account right now so that's what I'm doing right here I'm just gonna go exit out of my friends list but what we're gonna do now is go ahead and get advanced account switcher set up so I'm gonna delete my old version of it just to showcase that this whole process works so of course you need to be on a Hankaku you know hacked Vita so what I'm gonna do here is just basically run Vita shell as a normal program 
and what we need to do is go boot into Vita Shell. And then once we boot into Vita Shell, let me go ahead and back out. We need to go and transfer our files via either with FTP or with a USB cable. Since I'm live streaming my Vita using a plugin, I'm going to be using a uh, the FTP method. But of course, if along as if you have your USB cable connected to your PC from your Vita, you could transfer files that way. But in this video, all you would have to do um, to transfer files via with FTP, I'm going to go into hit start on your Vita and then if you scroll down on your D-pad and then hit left to right you can either toggle if you're going to be transferring over via with your USB cable or FTP so if you guys are doing a USB method just do USB but if you're following along and doing the files of the FTP way which I am I'm just going to be going to basically do FTP so just hold or basically uh, hold left and right on your D-pad to toggle whatever you want go to FTP and then once you have that all you would have to do is make sure your Wi-Fi is on and hit select and now you should see your FTP server from your PlayStation Vita or your PS TV broadcasting on the screen. Make sure to leave the screen up and now what we're going to do is go to our PC and get our file to transfer over on that side of things. So I'll meet you guys for that. Alright guys, so we're back onto the PC as showcased here. Here is advanced account uh, switcher right now. Here is the latest version of that. What we need to do is just transfer over to our Vita. So the way on we're doing that is with files of the FTP client. If you don't already have files of the FTP client and if you haven't been watching my videos, I will have the link to that in the description below. You just install it as any other EXE file as normal on Windows 10. But all we need to do is just go ahead and type in our IP. So that's what I'm doing right here. And then for our port is always 1337. So your port will be the same. Of course, our IPs will be different, but all we have to do is hit quick connect. And now as showcased here, you should see all of your directories in your Vita. If you get an insecure FTP connection or error on your screen, just go ahead and hit OK. But what we need to do now is go into UX0 and then just drag and drop our VPK here. If you have a VPK folder, you could drop it there as well, but I'm just going to drop it into uh, UX0. So. Right now, it's done um, transferring over. The file shouldn't take too long. Um, it's very small in size. But once that is fully done, what we're gonna do is go ahead back onto our Vitas and get Advanced Account Switcher successfully installed. All right guys, so we're back onto the PlayStation Vita as showcased here. All we need to do now is hit circle out of the FTP server. And now what we need to do is go into UX0, scroll all the way down to Advanced Account Switcher 1.2 VPK. So I'm just installing it as any other VPK. It won't take too long since it's only like 67 point kilobytes or 50 or 0.57 kilobytes if I could talk today. But as showcased here, if I scroll all the way down on my Vita, you will see um, advanced account switcher. All we need to do is go ahead and open it up just as any normal program. And then showcased here on the screen what we could do is to switch to a saved account remove the linked account or basically um, change the link AID or run a bunch of uh, PSN sign-in applications so the first thing what we're going to do is to remove the linked account that's what I'm doing so account data removed and now what we're going to do is go into run PSN sign up application and now that's what it's going to do via right here so just waiting for it to do its thing and now you'll get this little error don't click on x when you see that all you would need to do is just use an existing account and now all you would need to do is just go ahead and type in your um psa and credentials on the screen here i'll probably have it um fully blocked so you guys won't be able to see what i am typing in terms of my password and stuff since it's confidential but once um you get your password fully typed out onto the screen what we need to do is just go ahead and sign in as normal and then as showcased here, it will just show your PSN ID once you sign in successfully. All you would have to do is hit OK. Now, what we're going to do is go back into uh, or basically scroll all the way up, go into settings, go into PlayStation Network settings right here. And now it's going to ask you to say, please wait. There may be a little glitch on the screen and may uh, show your old account ID, but if not, uh, you should successfully be, you know, access into PSN on your new account. So if I go into my uh, friends list right here, 
you're gonna show or basically you're gonna see that I am on my other account and as normal I was on Nagato uh, Zen now I'm on my Vita account which is Nagato dev so let me go into um, Nagato dev to showcase that on the screen I'm just waiting for my friends list to pop up unless it's given a weird PSN error right now but probably if I just open back up or I showed you guys before I did successfully switch via from Nagato uh, Zen to Dev if I probably open up my trophy menu and then try to uh, run some trophies it'll probably state that I am on Nagato Dev right now so let me try to see if I could pop that up in the middle side of the screen or wait for the trophies to load up so yeah as shown cased here I am on Nagato Dev you probably can't see my full ID but yep essentially that's how you successfully uh, switch between PSN accounts or multiple PSN accounts with that being stated as well my name is Nagato hope you guys did enjoy this video and you learned something for today's video but with that being said my name is um, Nagato and I'm signing out thank you guys for watching Of course, I love the llamas. Nice and silky smooth.